Hi guys, welcome to another video from Total Technic. Today we're going to show you how to gain access to your main interior fuses. This is for the Audi A6, S6 or RS6 on the C5 platform. Uh, so that's this uh, massive group, group of internal fuses right here. Uh, so let's take a look at how we gain access to these. Now the main interior fuse board is located on the end of the dash. There's this uh, end dash panel. Uh, this will be the same side that your steering wheel is on. And so what you need to do is get this panel out of the way and that'll give you the access that we need uh, to the actual fuses. So let's do that now. Okay, now if you look at the uh, the dash end panel here, uh, you've got this little kind of cutout uh, section in it there and that's kind of the key for, for getting these out. Now you can kind of get a you know traditional screwdriver in there, uh, but as you can see, it can damage the, uh, the end of the uh, dashboard. So if you've got something plastic, like a, a trim tool, uh, that's much better if you've got one uh, available. So what you want to do is work that in like so, and then literally from, from the front there, just start working your fingers around the edges, just popping, the, uh, popping it out. And there, and as you get to the back, as you heard, it just kind of popped out there. And that, that's why you've got to work your fingers around to get to the back. You don't want to be uh, trying to lift it from here to try and get something out that's on the back, so you'll just end up snap, snapping the whole thing in half. So as you lift it, Bring the fingers around and that'll help you pop the back out. And let's give the thing a bit of a wobble forward and they, they can kind of see what it was that we were trying to do. So there's the, uh, there's the clips. This isn't really a compression clip, this just sits in this hole here. Uh, but the ones in the back uh, do need a little bit of um, strength when you, when you kind of drive these forward. So again, I'll show you this going, kind of going back in. Uh, but basically these metal clips, they sit on these, uh, these two kind of cutouts, uh, one top and bottom here. And so when you come to put this back in, you want to give that back a good wiggle, click it into place like so, and then that one there will just kind of pop into a, pop, pop back into situ, like so. So I'll just zip that out again real, real quick for you, in like so, make it all the way to the back, and then just start to draw it forward and pop those two rear clips out like so. And that is it. So with the panel removed, uh, as you can see, that gives us access to this uh, array of internal fuses right here. And uh, if you need to cross-reference them, if you look on the, uh, the back of the actual panel itself, they, uh, they put this little sticker on there. And uh, this gives each of the fuses a number and tells you what uh, size fuse uh, should be in there as well. Uh, this list may vary a little bit, uh, depending on what options and things you've got fitted to your particular car, maybe the age of it might be a factor as well. Uh, but you should have your own sticker in here and it should tell you what uh, what goes where and what fuse should be fitted. Now you can cross-reference that. Um, I don't know how well this will show up on the, uh, on the video here. Uh, but they do actually give you kind of a little numbered uh, diagram of the kind of fuse layout, if that makes any sense. Uh, so you can match this uh, to the to the diagram, find out what number it is, and then uh, find out on here. So for, if, for example, you knew you had a problem with your, um, let's say, brake lights. Uh, brake lights is number 13, which should be a 10 amp uh, fuse in there. So what you do is you'd look on your little diagram, you'd find uh, number 13 on there, and then you cross-reference cross that and find a uh, 13 on the fuse board, and then you could remove that fuse and uh, check if it's blown or not. Um, so that's it. So uh, that's your, uh, your main um, interior fuse board and how to gain access to it. 